Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this snow nymph inspired makeup look. I thought it'd be fun to take the idea of a Christmas elf but incorporate a little bit more of nature and the elements into creating more of a woodland nymph. So anyways, with that being said, if you guys are interested in seeing how you can achieve this snow nymph makeup look, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so to get started, we're going to be blocking out just the tails of our eyebrows. I'm just going to be taking some Elmer's glue and a spoolie and just applying this to the tail of our eyebrow and then just go ahead and start to brush that up before going into some baby powder and a sponge and just pressing that in to set this. You're going to be repeating this process about two to three more times until your brow is completely flat before setting it one last time and then just going ahead and brushing away the excess. I'm then going to be taking my Moon Creations body paint in light blue and on a foundation brush I'm just going to be applying this all over my face and bringing this down my body as well. I find that using a foundation brush like this where it's a little fluffier is the best way to get a seamless, streakless look. Then I'm going to be going into my Moon Creations body paint in white and I'm actually just going to be applying this to the areas that I would normally highlight. So this is going to be under my eye, my forehead, and just the facial features that I really want to brighten before going ahead and setting that with some Johnson's baby powder on a large fluffy brush. I'm then going to be going into my Maron Paradise paint in blue and using a craft sponge, I'm going to be going ahead and applying this to the perimeters of my body just so we can kind of start to have a little bit of an ombre effect while lightly stippling it in the center of my body as well. And I'm going to continue the same thing on my face and applying this to areas that we would typically contour on our face. Following that, we're going to be adding a little bit more dimension in the color by taking Deep Sea Maron Paradise paint and just doing the exact same thing. This is going to add a few fun green tones into this, and we're also going to highlight as well by taking our Moon Creations body paint in white once again. And we're going to be applying this to the areas that we want to highlight, so once again, this is going to be forehead, under eyes, collarbones, etc. We're once again going to be setting our entire body and face with some Johnson's baby powder on a large fluffy brush before we start to move on to working on our eyebrows. So to do this, I'm going to be going in to my Moon Creations body paint in black, and I'm just going to be bringing that eyebrow into a straight brow upwards. This is kind of going to create that nice fairy tale, kind of villainous look as well, which I really love for looks like this. I'm then going to be going into my James Charles Unleash Your Inner Artist Morphe palette, taking this dark blue eyeshadow and applying this to the very front of the brow to help give it more of an ombre effect. And then I'm going to be going back into my Moon Creations black body paint and just kind of pulling that into the front of the brow as well and creating some individual brow strokes. Next, moving on to eyes, I'm going to be going into this light blue eyeshadow from the palette and I'm going to be applying this all over my eyelids and even bring this down to my lower lash line as well. And this is really going to help create the natural shadow that we can build up off of. I'm then going to be going into this darker blue and I'm going to be applying this to the outer corner of the crease and just blending it towards the center part as well and even bringing this down as my nose contour. Next, I'm going into this lighter metallic light blue and I'm going to be applying this to my brow bone to help highlight that before going into this dark blue and applying this to the outer corners of the crease, creating an extended V to make it more dramatic and applying this to my lower lash line. Now, to continue the drama, we're going to be going into the black eyeshadow and doing the exact same thing, really focusing this on the outer corner of the eye and then lightly blending it in towards the center. You definitely want to make sure to blend as you go, and we're also going to be pulling this color down to the lower lash line as well to help frame our eyes and make them look more intense. We're going to continue this by taking our L'Oreal Silk Is Me Eyeliner in Charcoal and applying this to our lower waterline before going into our Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Black Eyeliner and creating a nice bold wing. We are now going to be moving on to the face by taking our dark blue and black eyeshadow, mixing them together, and we're going to be using this as contour. So on a powder brush, I'm going to be applying this to my cheekbones and my forehead, bringing that down to my chin and neck as well, making sure to accentuate all of the features, including our shoulders and collarbones too. To highlight, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit, taking blue ice, and I'm going to be applying this to my cheekbones, my nose, my collarbones, my shoulders, etc. I also wanted to bring in a little bit of a flush, so I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Disney Designer Enchanted Mirror Blush and just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and my nose before going in to my ColourPop Black Lippy Pencil and just outlining my lips. I'm also going to be going into my KVD Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Witches and just going ahead and applying this all over my lips. 
I'm then going to be taking my NYX Epic Ink Liner in black and using the felt tip. I'm going to be creating a spattering of freckles all over my face and also bringing that down to my shoulders as well. Following that, I'm going to give my lips a nice top coat of my NYX Slip Tease Lip Lacquer in Karma Sutya before going into my ColourPop Frozen 2 The Dark Sea Glitter on a stipple brush, and I'm going to be applying that all over my body and face to really help give that fun, ethereal, mythical look. I'm going to go ahead and prep my eyelashes by curling them before going into my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and just sweeping this through my eyelashes. Next, I'm going to be popping on my favorite false eyelashes, which are these E&E &E lashes in Cherry. I think they look absolutely amazing, and especially with this look. And then I'm going to be doing the last step, which is actually applying these fake pointed ears. I got these off of Amazon, and of course, I will have them linked down below for you guys, but I absolutely love them. They are plastic, and they just form right around your ear perfectly. I'm just going to quickly top that off with some of my Moon Creations body paint in light blue. And that is the completed Snow Nymph makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. And with all of that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.